I think uh, this game and the whole geopolitical thing now is not about Georgia anymore, unfortunately. For me, it's all about my country, but the Russians made it very clear, during, especially during the last few statements, that they are after, uh, they, they first of all, up to restoring the former Soviet Union in its old borders. They clearly were making lots of hints, and you know, uh, and basically they were they 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 were talking a lot about them. This is uh, this is no this is a nightmare scenario, but this is no longer an unrealistic thing to uh, expect from them. Second, they went after energy routes, and they want to control every energy routes. Remember, they used their most sophisticated SS-26 missiles to attack energy routes in Georgia, and I think this will not going to end there. And I think what they've clearly been saying, that they're taking revenge on the free world for what they think was humiliation of Russia by the free world. I think what they perceive as humiliation is bringing freedoms to the frontiers of Russia, allowing people to, even small peoples like Georgians, to make their own free choices, free of violence, free of intimidation. And that's exactly what they couldn't stand. So you know what, when we talk about these issues here, this is not going to end here. Unless they are, this thing is rolled back, unless the world really reasserts and the free world reasserts its own principles. Unless the, you know, the, 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 there is clear understanding what's at stake here. We are going to see further r Russian aggression, I'm afraid, and further uh, the, you know, tragedies which my country has just lived through. We've seen that. We see that these people, you know, people who take decisions there are very brutal and they are not going to stop at the frontiers of Georgia and certainly at the frontiers of some of the Georgia's region. What, what Let's be very vigilant about that. What leverage does the West have? What would you like to see uh, the United States and Western uh, European countries do, and, Euro and European countries do? Well, e just everything. You know, first of all, uh, from my perspective, the main response in my country's context is rebuilding. Uh, you know, what what we control in Georgia, uh, rebuilding most of Georgia, and you know, coming up with. And we are doing it. We I've been we we rolled our sleeves, and even if there there is still tension and provocations and Russians running around. We are already. We already already have big construction sites all over the places we so far liberated from the Russians, and we are trying to help people. We are trying to build new things. We are trying to restore normal life because Georgia has been the fastest growing economy among non-oil and gas producing countries. We had the. We were the highest per capita recipient of foreign direct investment in the region. It has been. Georgia has been getting high grades for free market and open enterprise and absence of corruption here. So the point here is. It's very important to understand that we want to get it all back. And that's already would be powerful enough response on the part of free world to help us in that one. But on the other hand, we should clearly understand that the West has much more leverage over Russia than Russia has over the West. There is no way Russia can reignite the Cold War or indeed fight serious hot war with anybody in the West. We, you know, they had they came into my country with 3,000 tanks, 80,000 soldiers. Well, it's enough to run over a small country. But it's not enough with their economic, technological backwardness, with their disorganization, with their, you know, these people that came in, most of them were irregulars. They were brutal. But they, there is no way they can, they, 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 you know, frighten the world and intimidate the world. So, uh, and, you know, Russia is so interdependent. Russia is so dependent upon, you know, good you know, the, the good, uh, like go goodwill of the West, of the free world, of other countries, countries like China. Uh, and uh, the point here is, it's, it's clearly, the, you know, the w free world and the, the developed world and civilized world still has to come up with responses in terms of utilizing all the great powers you have. Of course you have great power. Of course Russians know it. The only thing they think is about what, the, what they really believe, if you want, if you want to put, have, know my perspective, what they're thinking is, they think, well, they can always divide, they can always manipulate, they can always undermine and corrupt some people in the free world, and then that's why they can get away with just anything they do. It's their thinking is who would blink first, and they always think that freedom will always blink first, civilization will always blink first in front of the brutal force. But they are not the first brutal force in the history of the world to have made that mistake. And I think we should show it over again that the world is alive, that civilization is alive, that freedom will prevail, and that that's a huge mistake what they are thinking. On our part, Georgia is not going to give up its freedom. We will never surrender. We will rebuild our country. We will peacefully reach out to all our citizens of all ethnic groups to make our country whole and, and, and acceptable for all citizens, but of course, free of foreign domination, free of brutality and violence that they've tried to impose on us. President Saakashvili, thank you so much.